Oh, okay, Coach Cabal. Okay. That is a beautiful head of hair. There is no, that the, hairline is not we, going anywhere, sir. The oh my going, goodness, man. you are blessed They're with nice. a beautiful I'm, I'm man mane and a good beard. It's good. But okay, yeah. so you guys are here at OAC yeah. divisional. Yeah. So mm -hmm. Chanel, just so you know, Chanel would have been the small division. We would have been for this, yeah. Firebirds. Well, they wrestled yesterday, actually. Now they're over at Walsh, the little guys. Oh, are they? Are they? So Walsh is D1. Yeah. And you identify with the team where you will go. Correlate with, right? So yes. I'm not correlated to a high school, so I'm independent. So guy, right? Arsenal can do whatever Arsenal wants, right? We can do wants, whatever right? we want to do. But uh, a lot of kids come to the training. You know, we got a lot of – it's an open room policy. It's a pretty pure thing going on, so it's cool. Um, we got kids from everywhere coming in, from all over the place. From Beaver Local, Steubenville, got all those guys that were with me before. Um Everywhere from Aurora, like, like there's guys coming from everywhere. So what I've tried to create is kind of, I guess, if you will, a youth junior high RTC right, type thing. A lot of high school guys come in too. Um, so it's cool. I'm not affiliated with a particular school, so I'm able to help many different kids from all over the place. And it keeps things really pure. I really enjoy it. And it helps get these kids to, to, to jump levels, jump way more levels than... Not that they can't where they're at, but, I mean, if you, if you put a bunch of kids in a, in a room together, coming from all over the place to get together... It's a good, you got have good results. Kids got to grind a little bit and they, they, they elevate each other, you know? Okay, sad topic. I saw a demolition this past summer oh, yeah. of your room that you probably grew up training in. I did. Well, the, the, the wrestling room at Chanel was like an old classroom downstairs. It was like in the dungeon in the basement. They blew, two, blew a wall out. And this was like way back in the day. Um, fortunately, um, they built a new one for my senior year. So we had like so that one that I saw, they were they were destroyed. It said Firebird Wrestling yeah, on it, we, had, literally like the Plain Dealer big, have a video, yeah, and it yeah. showed like a. Doo, doo, so they put a doo, big doo. Firebird Wrestling room. That was a built room in 2005. And that so that facility that we saw them demolition was 15 years old. Yeah, not even. I heard the backing horns and the whole nine yards, and they they showed that it was sad, man. Yeah, yeah. So that that room was just an adjacent build on. It was three walls essentially. Um, a group of guys, the coaches, Coach Coghill, Coach Vance, my dad, a lot of guys, you know, were in the crafts, blue collar guys over the years. They all got together. A lot of people made donations and they built that room. I, thankfully, I was able to use it for my senior year of wrestling. What's the age difference between you and Jay? Two years. Jay's two years older than two you? Two years older. So Jay did not have that room? He didn't. So he it probably didn't. wasn't as sentimental to him to hear the backing. The backhoe, crushing it, and the wrecking ball. Uh, I mean, I think that's a hard topic regardless. I mean, that school developed so many great kids, great people, great men, um, individuals, you know, um, wrestlers, obviously, so many great teams over the years and individuals. I mean, you know, from the 80s with, you know, Mariola, who's still coaching, you know, Jaggers, uh, Cameron Wade, myself, Anthony Ralph, obviously. There's so many great people that came out of that room. Um, you know, more. You know, obviously, Colin Moore's dad. You know, so there's so many different people that are linked to that facility. The so junkyard like, dog, Cody Walters? Yeah, Cody. Cody Walter. I mean, there's so many. The list goes on and on and on. He's at West Virginia coaching. So, yeah, man. There's so many people and so many just good people in general that came from that program. It came from the school. You know, so it was sad. It was a sad, sad thing. My sister, I know, was pretty pretty bent on it. She was a mad stat for Chanel. The last year they won states, too, with Walters and you know, oral and all those 2011. Guys. Yeah. So she 10 years a, ago, man. Yeah, that's crazy already, right? It's wild. It's not, this goes faster, but there's no gray hairs up there. No gray hairs yet. It's just yeah. a beautiful beer. Is, is, there, is there any product in that right now? No, no. This that is, is amazing. We actually, I actually had a club morning workout this morning. A ton of high school guys. We had about 40 high school guys rolling in um, this morning at 10 a.m. on Sundays we go usually. What are the times for Arsenal? What, so we get, where's Arsenal and what are the Arsenal times? Arsenal Wrestling. Um, it's, in a, it's in an MMA facility, Aries Combat. It's in uh, Macedonia, Ohio, right off of Highland Road, right on the corner of Route 8 and Highland. So all the freeways come together. Um, Turnpike's we, right there? Everything's right there. So we go Tuesday, Thursday at 6 p.m. Um, and then we go Saturday, or Sunday, excuse me, Sunday at 10 a.m. 10 a.m. 10 a.m. And then what I do, what, I try, how much? How much? 10 bucks a drop. That's all. That's it. You can't give it away, man. It's Come not on. about, uh, you know, I think I think when things start becoming about money, that's when things get, the mud, waters get muddy. You know what I mean? And I think if you chase the passion, you genuinely are there to help kids, you know, I think that's when people take notice. So things take care of itself on that end. And I got some great guys helping me. Obviously, George D. Camillo, right? Uh, Jose Rodriguez helps me out. Nikki Cusis. 
you know, I think when Mackle comes home, he's going to be helping me out a little bit. So it's cool to, to put other great guys in that room with these kids. You know, it's, it's, it's a whole group. It takes a village. You know what I mean? I think that's important for kids to understand, too. How many guys today? How many guys yesterday here at OAC? Uh, yesterday, I mean, there's kids that come in and out and fluctuate and train. On, you know, they can drop in no obligation, right? It's kind of like playing fitness, I guess, if you will, right? <laughs> no, no, no obligation, but they drop in on a regular basis. There's kind of tiers to it, right? Like there's guys that I train hands-on more so than not. There's other kids that just come in. Yesterday, I think we had 13 guys, 13 or 14 guys that train on a regular basis with us. So um, 13 or 14 yesterday? yesterday? Including youth. We had some little guys too um, that are starting to come in. You know, It's hard to trickle from, you know, I even still work with college guys and stuff like that all the way down um, to the youth. I'm just one guy, right? But I'm starting to get some help, like I mentioned. Um, yesterday, I think we had 11 placers out of 13 or 14. And I think we had four champs yesterday. Four guys that won it, that trained with us on a regular basis. Three guys were in the finals, aside from that. And a few guys had to wrestle each other, whether it was in the finals or, you know, in the semis. I think that 102-pound bracket, there was three guys that work out with us all the time. Uh, one of them wrestled each, one of the other ones in the semi, and then he had to wrestle his other partner, training partner, in the finals. It's kind of crazy, right? So, um, super cool. Today, I think there's like four or five guys that train with us on a regular, but I wanted to show some love to those guys that come down the second day as well. Just, to, you know, it's about the kids, man. Where do you live? I live, uh, I'm up in North, uh, up in Twinsburg area. So you're Twinsburg. Yeah. So you're right there, like in between Cleveland and Akron, just like your facility. How far are you from the facility? 15 minutes? 15, 20. Yeah. So you're right there. Yeah. Yeah. So what would it take to get you on a high school staff? Oh man, I don't know. At this point. I don't know. It's a tough question. You know what I mean? Because I like helping so many different kids. I like being able to, you know, uh, I've been on a high school staff. I've been blessed to be on a college staff. Uh, my perspective is a little different, right? I guess if you um, looking a little bit higher, I want to be able to be an avenue or opportunity platform for kids to go whenever they want. Maybe not just necessarily build a program. I mean, I've been approached by quite a few, you know, quite a few places approach me. I don't know, man. I think uh, right now with COVID, it's neither here nor there, but I really enjoy what I'm doing with, with that, with things being so stringent with the rules and there's so many things that kind of overhead with, you know, you never know what tomorrow's going to bring, I guess. So it's kind of like... I don't know. Right now, I'm just kind of taking it day by day. It's going really well. Awesome. I'm awesome. looking forward to freestyle season. Hopefully, they have. We have. Yeah, that's the big thing. They you canceled know. that all. That Like, nothing happened last year. Man, that was tough. For the kids especially, because there's quite a few kids in the room that are pretty good freestylers that are that really looking forward to that. You know, whether it was the World Team Trials or they were a third-year cadet, UWW. Um, so, things like that, you know, uh, hoping they have, a, have an off-season program for those kids to really jump off. Some of them could really make some names for themselves, too. All right, we got warm-ups happening. You got anything else for me? No, man. I'm just uh, happy that we're able to wrestle. I mean, Jared and these guys do a great job putting on events, making sure everybody's safe. You do a great job covering it. Really appreciate you. Appreciate Jared and everybody at the OAC. All right, man. Thank you for the time. Good luck to you guys moving forward, right? Thanks. Appreciate it.